Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie Sarah. In this video today, I'm going to give you an update for my journey to become a sake master. So you may or may not remember that back in June, I posted a video saying that I'm gonna be getting a sake certificate. I haven't been able to really update you on that. And I'll be very honest with you, um... there hasn't been much progress. And that is because, okay, I'm just gonna give excuses, but I think it was too much of an ambitious goal for me to balance YouTube, work, and you know everything else that happened in life back in june i did um post that video and i did say that i'm gonna get the sake certificate so i did flick through some of the pages i did go through like the first chapter um and then yeah i just couldn't get my hands on to do it but as you guys know i posted a video saying that i am no longer a salary woman nowadays i'm doing like three days a week of like the service contractor thing four days a week i'm doing like the youtube stuff and planning for my future things so now that i have time i have actually started to work on this properly by that i mean i finished reading through the whole book and i did look through some of the past questions and they did seem harder than I thought. I thought they were gonna ask you like, you know, basic questions, but not really. Like they ask you which year like the, the regulation for sake changed and things like that. If you drink and drive, how many years are you likely to be in jail or how much fine are you gonna be charged? That kind of thing. The questions were in a lot more detail than I thought. So I really actually need to study for the exam as well, rather than just like knowing things in the book. Well, that's also important, but, you know, passing the exam is very important. So what I'm thinking of doing is that um, now that I've gone through the book, I'm gonna look through a mock paper. Well, I found just one on the internet, so I'm gonna like go through that and understand what they expect from you um, in the questions and then go through the book section by section after knowing the sort of questions they're gonna ask. And for me to actually push myself, I will apply for the exam. It's gonna be next week. Sake certificate is from level five to one. The highest level I'm allowed to take right now is three. And then if I have level three, I can take level two. And then if I have level two, I can take level one. And for levels four and five, you can just take it online at your computer. But from level three onwards, you have to take it at like a specified exam location. I'm gonna see if they're available next week. Actually apply for this like now with you guys here. Okay, so I have registered to the Sake Certifications website. So I'm actually gonna be applying for the certificate. I think you can take it every day depending on where, um, like which exam location you go to. Because I used to study this in the morning um because you know i think i feel like inputting information for me is better in the morning so i used to do that i want to take the exam in the morning as well so i'll see if the desired location does like morning exams let's go see sake certificate oh they have wine certificate and shochu japanese spirit certificates too yeah but i'll do a sake certificate three level three Hmm, it seems like a lot of the locations only do like afternoon exams. Hmm. If it's like an early afternoon, but then if it's like right after lunch, it will be like super sleepy, right? So I don't know, but maybe I'll be nervous so I won't be sleepy. Hmm. Oh, the one in Shibuya does 10. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, maybe I'll go to Shibuya and do the 10 a.m. exams. A few moments later. You guys, it has been registered and I am officially taking the exam next week. So to take the third level, um, it costs 4,650 yen. I don't want to be paying this again for no reason, so I have to pass this. And to pass this, I need to get 70% correct out of 50 questions, 35 questions correct, which means I can make 15 mistakes. So I think that's still a lot. But anyway, um, the questions aren't as easy as I thought. I am now going to go on to look at the mock paper. Hopefully learn more about sake. It's actually really interesting. I learned some really interesting things. So I am hoping to share some of the information with you in another video. I hope you are looking forward for the exam next week. The results will be shared in another video, hopefully. So I hope you are enjoying my journey to become a sake master. If you are, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more future videos about Japanese food and culture. Bye!